in the front. This beautiful one with the red burgundy-ish color is a scarlet radish. I'm sorry, scarlet kale. And these big beautiful babies with the big uh, leaves are lacinato kale. Look at that, how pretty. Lacinato kale. Beautiful. And I put one scarlet kale right there. Over here, I have my curl blue kale. Beautiful, doing well. And I have my marigolds back here growing tall. Bloomsdale spinach. Seedlings doing well. And a tiny little Sun King broccoli that I just planted a couple weeks ago. Doing well also. Over here. These are big, huge poblano peppers. Huge. Beautiful. They're so big and beautiful. This one is the biggest one. Beautiful. There are about eight that are this size. Sorry about the sun glare. Not really much I can do about that. We have two over here. One here hiding. Beautiful. Two here. Twins. This one is hiding here too. A little smaller than the, the other ones. And then you have these two. Beautiful. This one is actually a red bell pepper from a seed that I started from a bell pepper that I bought in the store to cook with. And I took some of the seeds and some of them germinated. And this one's doing really well. This plant here is a scotch bonnet. Has a lot of flowers on it and I caught a glimpse of that one little baby right there. These are doing well. This is red Russian kale seedlings that I started out here and they are doing well also. And I have some iceberg lettuce coming up. Little seedlings and red velvet lettuce seedlings coming up also. So, the garden's doing well. This is a teddy bear sunflower. Showing off. Beautiful. And I have my other little sunflower bed here. Some of these are mammoth sunflowers. Some of them are autumn beauty variety. I have about five different varieties here. And they are all growing and doing well. I have bok choy. And I have some onions here. These are sweet white Spanish onions. These are short and sweet carrots coming up here as well. I have some sugar snap peas that I had to install that trellis for it because they were laying all in the dirt. And this is a an orange bell pepper. It already has one pepper on it. And I have no idea what's going on with this cucumber plant right now. For some reason, the leaves are dying. 
but it produced that one cucumber so I'm not gonna pull it out I'm gonna see if I can revive it but everything out here seems to be doing nicely my potatoes I have potatoes doing nicely in grow bags and these are lemons two three four and a pineapple all of these along this little gate here are store-bought I got these lemons the, the, the seeds from a lemon that I bought from the supermarket and this pineapple also I uh, started it from a store-bought pineapple this also is a store-bought peach that uh, I got the seed to germinate so it's doing well I'm gonna have to repot it soon before it gets root bound and these potatoes are also store-bought potatoes that I just kind of wanted to try my hand at and see if I could do it and they are doing really well I have my marigolds and I have here I have my radishes that I'm gonna try to zoom in for a look the radishes are growing they're not yet ready to be pulled but they are doing nicely and I have beets as well the beets are doing well not quite ready yet but I have a lot of good leaf growth they are strong and doing very well. Let's see if we could get a peek here. There we go. Beets. And this is my big bad broccoli plant that hasn't produced a head yet, but it's getting there. Don't have a head of broccoli yet, but it's getting there. More marigolds. And my prized Napa cabbage. Doing lovely. And this is a borage plant, borage flower. Um, and my, my carrots, my rainbow carrots. Not quite ready yet. I pulled one the other day and it was not ready. I just took some red romaine lettuce out of here. And um, I had a Minji Hilly cabbage that I pulled out from this spot the other day I had onions there but the cabbage was shading it so much that the, the onions couldn't do well in that spot so I'm gonna replant those and this is another borage and a red acre cabbage growing nicely as well so um, this is my little garden. As you can see, I have my glass of wine. <laughs> I keep uh, plastic gloves in this container here outside. And this is a watermelon that I'm going to put into another grow bag. Because I have my watermelons in these black grow bags. And those are also doing well. I have a baby watermelon there hopefully it germinated nicely and on this one I have another little baby watermelon that I actually hand pollinated yesterday so I hope this one pollinated as well that one I didn't get a chance to hand pollinate but this one I did and um, I'll keep everyone in the loop with progress and here I have an Oregon spring tomato plant. I haven't had much luck with tomatoes in the raised bed, so I decided to put the last surviving one in a pot and see if I can have some luck that way. And this is another tomato in a smaller pot. 
And there's my daddy. <laughs> She's only allowed in the garden when I'm in here because she has caused mayhem in the previous months. She had a good time eating my peppers and my onions when I was not home. This is a cilantro pot that I started. I didn't want to put the cilantro in the raised bed because cilantro has a way of taking over. So I am growing it in a pot. But um, yeah, that's it. That's my garden. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos as the garden progresses. I wish I would have started doing this sooner. Um, but I was just trying to get used to how everything grows and made a few mistakes along the way. A few little bumps and bruises as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for watching. Subscribe so you can see the, uh, the progression of the garden. Bye.